Can Mangero, the new GLP-1 GIP combination weight management medication, cure fatty liver disease? Now, if you've been here for a while, you know I'm really not a big fan of the word cure, especially when it comes to chronic diseases. But what I want to talk about today is the effects that Mangero seems to have on liver fat and treating liver fat disease and how it can potentially be a pretty big game-changing medication. So what we know is that fatty liver or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease affects about one in four people worldwide. That's 25% of the global population. Now fatty liver is just like the name sounds. Basically it's an accumulation of fat within the liver. And some fat is okay, there's no problem with it. However, having too much fat within the liver can lead to problems like causing inflammation, and damage which over time is going to be very harmful and ultimately fatty liver disease is becoming the most common reason why people either develop liver cancer or require a liver transplant and for individuals that have diabetes or obesity fatty liver can be pretty common and to kind of show you a nice little picture here as you can see all the way over on my right hand side your left hand side we have a nice healthy liver, it's looking good, it's happy, everybody is doing their thing. And as we progress over and closer to my head, we get more and more fat accumulation, which over time is going to cause more damage because ultimately, when too much fat accumulates within the liver cells, the liver cells are going to burst open and they're gonna try and heal back, but it's ultimately gonna cause things like scar tissue. And over time, that scar tissue causes significant damage and hardening of the liver leading to cirrhosis. Now, what we know is that losing weight and actually only a small amount of weight, upwards of 3% of your current baseline weight, can lead to a pretty dramatic effect in reducing the amount of fat that is accumulated around your liver and your organs. Further, we know GLP-1 medications like Wagovi and Ozempic can help and support the weight loss process by reducing your appetite, which reduces your calorie intake and ultimately leads to weight loss. And so firstly, they can have definitely an indirect effect in helping to manage fatty liver disease by helping you to lose weight. But there is a small amount of evidence that shows possibly these medications can also have a direct effect on that inflammatory process or at least have a direct effect in how much fat of, gets stored within your liver. And what we're finding is that Mangero or Tirzepatide might actually enhance this effect further. And the reason why Mangero is a little bit different is because not only does it have the GLP-1 component like Ozempic and Wagovi, but it also has this other GIP component or glucagon insulinotropic polypeptide. And so not only does this combination seem to lead to a greater amount of weight loss compared to Wagovi, but there seems to be an even greater effect on reducing the amount of fat that accumulates within the liver. So maybe having two is really better than one. And so to further get my point across, I wanna talk about the SURPASS-3 trial. And in particular, I wanna talk about a sub-study that was done of the SURPASS-3 trial. So the SURPASS-3 trial was a big randomized controlled trial. Basically, they took a large group of people and split them into two groups. One group got Tirzepatide or Mangero, and the other group got insulin, the insulin called Traceba. So it was found that Mangero not only significantly reduced blood sugar levels, it led to a great deal of weight loss, about 12.9 kilos or 28.4 pounds from baseline. It also significantly reduced cholesterol levels and led to a significant reduction in liver enzymes. And elevated liver enzymes tends to be associated with fatty liver. And the reason being is that having that fat within the liver ultimately accumulates within the individual liver cells, which over time will eventually burst, releasing all of their contents, and a lot of those contents are liver enzymes. And so when we see a large amount of liver enzymes within the blood in a blood sample, that indicates there's a lot of bursting and a lot of cells releasing their contents. Now, the sub-study of the SURPASS-3 trial was called the SURPASS-3 MRI trial. And basically what they did in this sub-study is they took a group of individuals from the SURPASS-3 trial and they gave them or did an MRI on them at the beginning of the study before they went on treatment 
and then at the end of the study after they had completed the treatment after 52 weeks. And so what the authors of this study found is that the amount of liver fat that was reduced with Mangero was quite significant. And in this graph here, we're actually showing the amount of change of liver fat content that occurred in individuals that were on the three doses of Mangero, so the five, the 10, and the 15 milligram once per week, and in the individuals that were actually on Traceba. And in all treatment groups, there was a reduction in the amount of liver fat content. For the individuals that were on Mangero though, there was a significantly more amount of liver fat content change with about 30 to 40% reductions occurring. Now, I wanna show you guys this really beautiful set of MRI scans that they did in this study. So what we have here is we have one individual that was on Mangero. We have their initial scan, which shows a very red, inflamed, and cranky ass liver going on there. It's actually swollen and bigger than what it should be. So things are not looking good. They have about 27% liver fat at this point in time. And then over the course of the study, when they were on Mangero, we see that there's a significant reduction in liver fat. So they went from about 27% to about 2.6% liver content, and ultimately that liver now looks very calm, it's blue, it's chill, it's hanging out, it's healthy, and it's happy. And here I wanna show you another really cool picture that depicts just how much of a change of fat occurred in the individual that had been on Mangero. On the right hand side here, we have them at the beginning at baseline and over on the left hand side, we can see how there was a reduction in the amount of visceral fat, so the amount of fat that was around the organs and how there was also a significant reduction in the amount of subcutaneous abdominal fat or the fat that is kind of found on the outside surface of our body. It's the fat that we all ultimately want to lose we got another significant amount of reduction in that level as well across the board. Mangero definitely had a beneficial effect in helping this individual to lose weight and ultimately total body fat. And as expected in the Surpass MRI3 trial, what they ultimately found was that as the amount of liver fat went down, we also saw concurrent reductions in things like A1C, cholesterol, blood pressure levels, and so on. And ultimately, the individuals that had the highest amount of liver fat content got the most benefit from this drug. Now, the benefit that comes with Mangero, in particular its action at the GIP receptors, seems to come down to what is occurring at your white adipose tissue or your watt fat. You see, our watt fat or our white adipose tissue is our healthier subcutaneous fat, right? It is the fat that is found on the subcutaneous surface level of our skin. It is on top of our muscle. It is the fat that is not around our organs. And it's generally healthier and not causing harm because it's not in direct proximity to our organs. Watt fat is something we all have and it's something that we all need for optimal health. Now, what can sometimes happen in an individual that is, say, gaining weight is that as they're gaining weight, their body will usually be shipping the triglycerides or fat to the watt fat initially to fill them up and to cause the weight gain there. However, if there is too much fat or for whatever reason the watt fat becomes overwhelmed, what ends up happening is that excess fat that's not being stored on the subcutaneous level will then spill over and get stored around your organs. Storing fat around our organs, again, is bad news bears because of that close proximity and ultimately can lead to the complications that we see with obesity. And what seems to happen with this GIP component is it seems to help our watt fat be able to handle more fat in general, reducing the amount of spillover that's occurring and less spillover to our organs equals a healthier health outcome for individuals that might be struggling with their weight. So yes, one of our goals in terms of weight management is to lose weight, but if for whatever reason this individual is on Mangero and maybe they're gaining weight because life and crap is happening, at least we can maybe get this extra benefit of reducing that spillover effect so the weight that is gained is ultimately going to their watt fat and providing the benefit of not storing it around the organs. So I'm not going to lie, I think that's pretty darn cool. But back to the question as to whether Mangero can cure fatty liver disease. And the word cure is really a strong word, like can we actually cure a chronic disease? Well, not at present, because a cure means that that chronic disease will not come back. Whereas when it comes to things like fatty liver and obesity, 
they're chronic. We know that if we go back to the lifestyle behaviors and patterns that we were engaging in that got us to that weight or to that point in the first place, well, the disease processes that were occurring are going to come back. So we can obviously get very good at managing a chronic disease like fatty liver and obesity. However, if we revert back, there is a good chance that those conditions are going to come back and all we can really do is hopefully aim for a remission and not an actual cure. So that is it and that is all you beautiful people talking about Maugero and its effect on fatty liver disease. Some very cool and very exciting results that we are seeing there and I am pumped to see what happens when we start getting some other agents out on the market that have other effects in this regard and may provide even further benefit. And to wrap things up here, if you got some kind of value out of this video, please like, share, comment and push it out to the people there. Drop your questions down below and I'll be happy to answer them. As well, check me out on my other channels at The Official Dr. Dan. And if you would like to book a consultation with myself, you can do so on the link on my profile page or check out my website, healthevolved.co. And until next week, my friends, always remember that small tweaks lead to massive peaks.